Today, let's talk about the all new 2021 Indian Springfield Dark Horse. Here it is. This is the Indian Springfield Dark Horse. And if you come up to it right off the bat, you'll notice that it is all black. If you don't like chrome, if you hate polishing chrome, if you hate spray painting cone, I'll tell you what, this is definitely the bike to get into. This is thing, this thing is blacker than my soul. One of the things that's noticed about this bike, especially up front, it's got nice dual disc brakes, plenty of stopping power. I love the fact that the fender incorporates the old school Indian war bonnet up front. It's actually very old school, very daring. And I'll tell you what, Indian pulls it off very nicely. Big headlight up front. So it's definitely awesome visibility at, at nighttime. And you can add some other uh, aftermarket headlights if need be. Everything blacked out with the frame. I love how it all blends in together. Little bit of accents of brushed aluminum, which pops out very beautifully. There goes more of that black Indian badging on it. The exhaust black heat shield blends in beautifully with the bike and it kind of hides underneath the bags. Plenty of uh, storage. And I love the fact that the key fob itself is, has a remote as far as uh, locking or, or unlocking the bags as well. Coming to the rear of the bike, there's a lot of things that you can do to this bike as far as adding a trunk or a sissy bar for the passenger, changing seats, you name it. I don't want to get too into detail with that, then I'll never finish this video. One thing about this bike, I love the fact that it's got different riding modes, fly-by-wire. It's got, uh, that way you, if you can change the features out if need be like that. Electronic cruise control, you can get a windshield for it, but this what? It's just nice and black the way it's meant to be. Very mean, very aggressive, and it definitely wants to be part of the pack. Now, one thing that Indian does amazingly well is the fact that it's got a very low seat height. It's got about a 26 inch, a little bit over seat height. So if you do have a little challenge when it comes to the seat height, you definitely need to come in and throw your leg over it and get a feel for yourself. Awesome low center of gravity. I can't get too much into details or specs of things like that. I'll never finish this video. But I'll tell you what, you definitely need to check it out. Bell County Motor Works here in Temple. <laughs> 